Hi there, my name is Tony, and in this video today, I'll be talking about a much cheaper way to trade Tesla options, especially for uh, more capital-intensive option strategies, such as the covered call, as well as the cash-secured put. Uh, so essentially, this is going to be done by using TSLL. There is no real secret sauce to it. You're going to be doing the exact same strategy, uh, just on a different instrument. Uh, so what TSLL is, it's a recently issued ETF by Direction Funds. It mimics one and a half times the daily performance of the underlying Tesla stock. Uh, but the main benefit to TSLL is that it's a much cheaper instrument, and currently it's sitting at $6, which makes it uh, quite attractive and quite accessible for most investors to acquire 100 shares, for instance, and then sell a covered call, or to sell a reasonably priced uh, cash curve put at the uh, 5 6 or $7 strike. Uh, so effectively, I believe that TSLL is a great addition to uh, the investing community. I think a lot of retail investors who don't have the capital to really uh, buy a round lot of Tesla stock could greatly benefit from TSLL uh, in its place. And uh, I'll be going over in this video some of the pros and the cons of using TSLL as a proxy uh, security to Tesla itself. Uh, so first of all, before I get started, I want to say a big shout out to anybody who's watching me right now who was subscribed to me uh, way back when. The last time I posted a video was two years ago. Uh, the reason I'm posting again now is because I'm unemployed and I'm trying to do something to fill up my free time. Uh, but yeah, if you're sticking with me over the years, uh, thank you so much, and I hope uh, you've been doing well. Anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, Tesla stock has been on a downward spiral since late September. Um, it was trading at $310 then, and it has fallen to a low of $101 uh, early in January. Uh, lots of speculation as to why, Twitter-related, obviously. But um, you know, a lot of investors at this point might be considering to enter a long position, seeing how oversold Tesla is. Uh, currently, that is my thesis. I believe we are going to see some sort of a rebound. If you have uh, a specific price point in mind, say you believe it's going to head to 140, uh, but not go over that, you might be tempted to uh, run a covered call strategy. Additionally, if you think that Tesla might fluctuate a little bit, uh, perhaps uh, you know it might go back down a little bit, but it's not going to go below $100. You might be then incentivized to sell a cash curve put with a strike of $100 and collect a premium uh, for that. Uh, but pretty much being able to access these strategies gives investors a lot more flexibility. Regrettably, uh, pretty much to implement these strategies, you're going to need a decent sum of capital. To sell a cash curve put, you're going to need to put down enough money to buy 100 shares of Tesla. So you're going to need 100 times the strike price minus the premium. So in the $100 example, you're very likely going to need something like $9,800 uh, which is $100 minus what you receive for selling the put. Um, so it's not very accessible to a lot of investors, especially more novice ones uh, who are looking to sort of dabble in investing. And the solution for this actually is because of Direction. They recently issued a ETF called Direction Daily Testable uh, one and a half times leverage. They issued quite a few uh, different ETFs, uh, single stock ETFs. I believe they made one for Microsoft, Google, uh, Apple, as well as Amazon. The other ones pretty much just see absolutely no trading volume at all. Uh, the Tesla leveraged ETF is the exception here where you see uh, pretty solid volume actually on a day-to-day -day basis. And again, because Tesla itself has fallen quite a bit, you can see that we are below where the IPO price is. The great part about this now is that you can acquire 100 shares at the stellar, and you can yourself start selling uh, covered calls or cash cured puts. We'll take a look here, for instance, at uh, the February chain. You can see that if you wanted to run a covered call um, for the $6 strike, you might be able to pocket about uh, $75 uh, per lot of premium, uh, assuming that the uh, share price doesn't go below $6. Um, again, or you can sell a $5 uh, cash cured put and pocket this premium. Uh, the reason why it's so effective is that the same strategy with the same capital commitment wouldn't exist otherwise elsewhere without this ETF unless you had greater capital. Uh, it's for that reason and combined with the fact that this is a relatively active ETF that makes all of this sort of come together and work. So again, for newer investors that have uh, you know less than $12,000 to commit to Tesla, this is going to be a decent alternative if you're looking to run um, the wheel, cash your put, and the covered call combined. Now, there are shortcomings for this ETF. You know, I won't pretend there's none. The first one you might notice is that it's a little bit more spreading. It's an active market, but first of all, it's a lower strike price. Um, you're going to see larger increments in sort of the bid ask. It also is not part of the OCC's penny program, which means that it's going to have a designated five cent increment uh, for the bid ask. So you're going to see a gap here, a decent gap here. 
Uh, I think there's going to be a decent spread regardless, but the fact is it can't really be reduced. Compared to the Tesla stock itself, come closer to the at-the-money options. Even for the weeklies, you're going to see, again, lower uh, spreads comparatively uh, as a percentage of the price of the actual option itself. So uh, that's major drawback number one. Uh, number two is, and this you probably might notice already, uh, because of the low share price, you have a lot fewer strikes that are sort of relevant. I think four is out of the question, eight as a call, it's it's kind of a far ways from where we are right now, but still somewhat relevant. Uh, but pretty much your relevant strikes, in my opinion, are going to be five, six, seven, and eight. If you want something pretty specific, such as shorting, uh, you know, a 115 put on Tesla, it's not really going to correspond to any of these strikes. It, it might be something like five and a half dollars, uh, you know, five dollars and seventy cents, five dollars thirty cents, you know, somewhere in between. Uh, that sort of limits your flexibility in that regard. And so that is the other, I'd say, major drawdown. So a higher spread relatively and, uh, you know, in a way less options to choose from. But at the same time, the fact that this exists at all, I'd say, is a great addition. So, you know, if you like these strike prices, I'd say the wheel, you know, is something that could be implemented on this ETF. Now, finally, the last thing I will mention is that uh, there are fees associated with it. This is not uh, a one-to-one -one with Tesla. First of all, it's leveraged, which means you're going to have the decay that comes with leverage. If you're going to be wheeling in the short term, uh, we're going to have monthly expiries here. So if you're intending to hold for one or two months at a time and then get rid of the stock, the K is not going to be eating you alive, but it is going to be negatively impacting you, that's for sure. But at the same time, uh, it is something to be concerned about. For instance, uh, because we've seen this exponential decrease in Tesla stock price, 60% uh, pretty much since late September, uh, we have seen exponential decay in this ETF where we fall, we've fallen from $26 uh, to $6 now. To be able to come back to $26 if you're an investor here, we would need to see uh, a very long period of exponential growth, which uh, for one and a half times leverage shares, it pretty much involves Tesla going up and up and up uh, several days in a row. If you're going to see any sort of kangaroo market, um, again, the K is going to eat you. Second of all, this does charge a 1% management fee. The direction is not making these for fun out of generosity. They do intend to collect some sort of fee for it. Uh, again, it's not going to be terrible if you're going to be sort of trading it um, or if you expect to have your shares called away or to be assigned shares several times during the year. But again, it's something to be aware of. Uh, anyhow, uh, I don't want to make this video too much longer. Thank you so much for tuning in and chiming into this uh, video. I uh, really appreciate you watching. And uh, before I close it off, I will say I recently started a blog. You're going to find a link to it both in the description of this video and on my channel description. But pretty much as I'm unemployed now, I'm trying to make use of myself. So that was one of the incentives of me starting this. Um, I do try to write a blog about a certain topic and then try to create a video to promote it, or at least that's the plan for now. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please do check out my corresponding blog post uh, about the contents of this video. I do really appreciate uh, your time and have a good one. I wish you well. Thank you.